Hey what's going on guys, welcome to another real world review brought to you as always by Motorcycle Superstore and today we're going to be reviewing the first gear heated gear liner system. Alright, so in the first gear lineup we have the heated pant liners, the heated glove liners, and the heated jacket liner. Um, and this system is actually wirelessly controlled. It comes with a dual heat troller, which means that you're going to have two separate heating stations. You have yellow and red. Red's going to be up top, so it's going to be your gloves and your jacket. Yellow is going to be down bottom for your pants. And you can also get heated socks to plug into your uh, pants, but I did not get those in this set, obviously. So first thing you need to do is you need to install your dual troller. This is a dual troller. You can get a single troller, um, which basically means you will only have one zone. Dual, two, obviously. This is dual. All right, so before you can actually throw the gear on and start enjoying the advantages of having heated gear, especially if you live in a place where it gets really cold in the winter, you have to set it up. Now, setup is very easy. You're going to have your dual heat troller, which is what I have. You can also have a single heat troller. Um, basically, the difference is there are two different zones, red and yellow. With your wireless remote, you have red and yellow. Basically, the wireless remote, you have two knobs. Red's going to control red, yellow to yellow, obviously. The first thing you have to do in order to use your heated gear is you have to install this folder. This is basically, if you want to think of it in terms of a motorcycle, this is your ECU. This controls everything. This makes sure the magic happens whenever you turn that switch on. This is going to make sure everything heats up. Now, this is the jacket, obviously. You're looking at it from the front view. Where you're going to install this troller is right inside of your left pocket. If you pull this pocket, flip it inside out, you're going to see that you have this little pouch. These are your two shorter cords for your two heat zones. The longer with the red tip is going to be your power source. That's what you're going to actually plug into the bike. So two holes in the bottom of this pouch. On the right side, if you're looking facing the jacket, it's going to be a larger outlet, that is going to be what you're going to feed your two heat zone cords through. Pull both of those through. Then you're going to feed your power supply cord through the hole on the bottom left. Alright, pull that all the way through. Pull your two heat zones through. And then, once you pull them completely through, your heat troller is going to go ahead and just slide right into this pouch, nice and snug, tucked away in your pocket, never have to worry about it again. Now, red to red. So this is how your heat troller is going to get the signal from your wireless remote about how high to heat your jacket and your glove liners, which are going to be a part of your red zone because your gloves plug into your jacket, your jacket is the red zone from your troller. Um, so very, very simple. Yellow cord, obviously for your lower half. This is your power supply. The power supply cord plugs into your battery identical to a battery tender. So ground to ground, positive to positive, you're going to feed it through the easiest place for you to end up plugging in your jacket on your bike. And the best part about it is it can hang out all year long just like a battery tender. The, um, the cord that goes on your bike actually does have a waterproof cap. So you don't have to worry about anything going wrong with that. If it's sitting out in the rain or if it starts raining on you, you're all set. So now that you've seen how to install the heat troller, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put on all this gear get everything set up correctly so you can enjoy the comforts of riding with the heated gear on. Alright, so the first step is obviously to go ahead and throw on your heated jacket. Now, you can wear this jacket by itself, um, but the best way to wear this jacket is, I honestly, whenever it was in the 40s, high 30s, I was able to wear this underneath of my uh, perforated leather summer jacket and I stayed completely warm. Um, that's the one thing you will notice about this heated gear. It is extremely, extremely high quality. It does exactly what it says it will do, and it will keep you very, very warm in very low temperatures. Um, so, got the jacket on. I'm all set. 
If I wanted to, you don't have to wear the pants to use this gear. If I wanted to, I could throw on my gloves, put this jacket on underneath my riding jacket, plug the power supply cord into my adapter that's plugged into my battery. I have it just wired out of the front of my seat and plug it in, grab my wireless remote. But since I'm only using the top, I would turn this on, turn the red button, and then select my desired temperature. And like I said, once you plug it into the bike, you almost instantly feel the heat going through the jacket. It's, it's, it's amazing. Um, so if you're going to be putting on your gloves, your heated glove liners, put them on just like you would any other glove. Flip the strap over. And then obviously I already have my wires pulled out, but hidden underneath the zipper right here is going to be your wire for your heated glove liners. Pull it over, push it into your glove liner, and then you can go ahead play with this wire as much as you want to get it to the desired amount that you want to have hanging out. Um, but I have noticed these wires have never even really gotten in the way. It hasn't really ever bothered me. And just for the sake of uh, showing you, I'll go ahead and show you that it does fit very easily over top of my speed and strength urge overkill winter gloves. Very comfortable. You honestly don't even really notice that the liner is underneath your glove. And then put your riding jacket on top of this. You don't even know that you have any heated gear on. It just looks like you're wearing normal gear. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to throw the pants on and I'm going to show you how you're going to connect your heated jacket to your pants and then run you through one more time exactly how to use this wireless remote to control your different heat zones. All right, so I went ahead and threw my heated pant liners on. Um, as you can see, it is a very, very tight, form-fitting, almost legging-type material. Um, just got one zipper from the front, a um, Velcro up on the top for your belt, <clears throat> for your belt buckle, and then a little pouch right here that you unzip, and then this wire is going to come out, and then that is actually going to be what you plug your yellow plug into. Plug that in, pull out your power supply, zip down, button up, zip. Now your pants are connected to your jacket and that is going to allow you to, to utilize your yellow zone on your wireless remote. So now that we're like this, you throw your heated glove liners on, plug them in with the supplied wires that come out of the wrist, plug yourself into the bike, and you're ready to go. Best part is the, heat, the uh, wireless remote does come with a, a Velcro patch. You can peel it off, slap it wherever you want onto your, onto your bike, anywhere that's convenient. Me personally, with as cold as it gets in New England, up in Boston riding in the winter, uh, I usually put, I usually turned on both zones pretty high. Um, there was one time where I actually turned it up all the way up and it was like 10 degrees outside. I commute 45 minutes on the highway a day and I was hot. I got to work and was sweating. Um, so that was underneath um, some of my light winter gear. And this stuff, this, this, heated, this heated lineup is amazing. Uh, I left one day for work, it was one degree outside. <laughs> and I'm going 80 miles an hour on the highway, completely fine. Wasn't in the least bit chilly, got to work and had no issues with my ride. I, I can't imagine life in New England riding me around without this stuff anymore. There's absolutely no way I will be able to go through another winter and not have heated gear. I'm thinking back, I don't even know how I did it in the, in the first place. <laughs> um, so I absolutely recommend the first gear heated lineup um, for their liners, they do make actual gear, uh, actual like winter gear with the heated elements integrated in. So if that's something that you would look into, um, that's another option. Uh, but if you already have a pretty legitimate setup for um, colder or all weather uh, purposes, this is a very good option because you can always throw this on underneath. Like I said, most of the stuff is very form fitting. Glove liners, you can't even feel them. I'm wearing my jeans and if I couldn't feel how snug the um, the heated pant liners are on my legs, I wouldn't even know where they were there. My jeans don't fit any differently, um, and I have no issues with them. So definitely check out the First Gear 
heated liner lineup. Uh, there's going to be links in the description for everything I talked about in this. Um, if you are very interested in this product, smack the link, grab some. Uh, they're really, really high quality products. So definitely go check them out. First gear, and thanks again to Motorcycle Superstore. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and have a good one. Peace!